All right, November is National Pomegranate Month, one of my favorite fruits. And to celebrate, we have Chef James Pachakis joining us from Cask and Larder Restaurant. Welcome, James. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. I am so excited about this. So first of all, there is a big mystery around pomegranates. It's not like picking a melon. So tell me about how to pick a pomegranate. So I think the easiest way or first thing you should do is look at the color. You want okay. to try and get it as red as possible. All right. Um, something like this. That, yeah, and, beautiful. And then obviously also kind of the field test. Okay. You don't want it to be too smushy because then it's going to be kind of over Right. ripe and begin to brown and you don't want it rock hard where okay. you know you can't even get into it right. so you kind of want just a little bit of give to it so speaking of getting into it that's yes. the next thing that people do not know how to open a pomegranate yep. and it stains it, so it, you don't want to get it all over your clothes so show me how to do it It does and once you do it it's, pre it's pretty simple uh, just take a cutting board and half them with a sharp knife okay and what we usually do is take a, a wooden spoon or something kind of with a little bit of a density to it and just sort of kind of pound it and we do wow. it I do, do not it, do it that way. I'm glad I'm here learning this. We do it over <laughs> uh, a bowl of water just because yeah. it, it'll actually separate the, the, seeds. the, the pit yep. so that you can get the seeds out pretty easy yep. and, uh, and start to work. Love that. All right, so what are we making today? So we're going to make a side dish um, right. that goes great great for holidays, but great for any time. With one of my favorites, Brussels sprouts. With Brussels sprouts. Okay. You know, some people's favorite, some people's not so favorite. But this makes it great. Um, really goes nice with turkey as well. Pomegranates are really nice to use because they add a, you know, sweetness, which everyone knows, but also yeah. acidity, which kind of cuts through okay. some of the richer foods. Okay. Um, so for this one, what we do is we take Brussels sprouts yep. and just half them, fry them at 325 till they're nice and golden brown. It takes two or three minutes, really simple. Okay. We take pomegranate juice yep. and reduce it. Um, okay. And what we do is, is you just simmer it on your stove simmer until it. it's about two thirds reduced. Okay. And how so long does that take? 10, 15 minutes, depending okay. on how much you do. And this you're going to simmer it with with honey. Honey. And okay. then that will give you this viscosity right. of this syrup and that's how you start it. So once you have the fried Brussels, okay. you know, to taste, this is sweet and, and acidic, so you just add a little bit of this syrup to it. That is. Oh, I am salivating as you are doing that. And then because of that sweetness in the city, we like to yep. add something with a little heat. So we infuse okay. uh, basically by heating up oil with a little bit of uh, Fresno chilies, which give, you, give it Whoa. a little heat. That'll give it a little heat. And then the seeds that you just got out, you kind of uh -huh. just add to it. Okay. You know what I love about this is that there's no pork in here because no I every time I order Brussels sprouts at restaurants they have pork yeah, and no, so I no, love this, that this uses the pomegranate and it really shows off the Brussels exactly. sprout which is great you exactly. know exactly all right so we've got so the it's Brussels very simple you kind of just plate it like Beautiful. that and this will stay nice and crispy for about 20 minutes so nice. you can do this ahead of time and, and you're good to go so good so all just right. toss it last minute but you can fry them ahead of time so we can't let you leave without a drink yep everyone you know holidays <laughs> so are all about being around family so you have to have an alcoholic beverage a lot okay. of the times so our mixologist at the restaurant, Ravenous Pig and Casking Larder, kind of came up with this secret garden pomegranate drink. Um, okay. It's featuring uh, cachaça, which okay. I probably just butchered, but it's a uh, Brazilian rum. rum. Really nice product that they age in wood. Nice. Really has a nice, it's made from sugar cane, so it has that rum sweetness, but with the, with the wood, it's great. Okay. Little Madeira, okay. simple syrup, and lemon juice, and the recipe's on the website. All right. Um, kind of so just, just muddle kinda everything together. So it yep. here. Kind of okay. muddle everything together, actually shake first, muddle, finish with a little pecho bitters, and then just sort of strain into your juice over nice. some uh, pomegranate jewels, and you have I think a, I, a I really think I need nice more start rum to a here. meal. <laughs> yeah, and add as much rum as you need, depending on your uh, your company. So. All right, and of course, because I'm the dietitian, I have to mention the yeah. health benefits yeah. of pomegranates. They have really good anthocyanins, which okay. are a good antioxidant, and there has been some evidence to show that helps with blood flow for the heart. There's also evidence that it can help reduce prostate cancer risk and slow the growth of prostate cancer if you do have it. So there's lots of reasons to eat pomegranates. Yep. Ladies? They're not only good, but they're also good for you. I know, exactly. Over to you.